Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy D Nally, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another G35 video. So, as you guys can probably tell from the title of this video, we are finally starting with the vented hood project for the six speed G35. Now, last year, sometime last summer, I actually ended up buying a black hood that I was gonna do a vented hood out of for this car. Now, one thing led to another. I ended up buying the Project G35 and ended up swapping the silver hood that was on that car for the black hood, which I originally bought for this car. Now, as a lot of you guys know, Project G35 is gone, RIP to that car, even though I'm really not that upset about the situation, it was a long time coming, and uh, you know, we're gonna move on to bigger and better things. In the near future, I can guarantee you guys, still have lots of parts off the, G, the Project G35, by the way, as well as the 2.5 Altima. Hit me up on Instagram if you guys need any parts. But now I do have an extra hood. Now I ended up selling the silver hood uh, about a couple of months ago. So now what I have is two black G35 sedan hoods. Now my idea obviously is to take the spare black hood that I have, chop it up, do kind of a VIS style vented hood. Now I know the VIS, VIS, VIAS, I think it's VIS uh, carbon fiber hoods. For me to get one of those here would cost me well over a thousand bucks. You can get them on the Outcast Garage, which I know the guys on the VQ North Facebook page actually do a group buy every single year, but you guys know me. For one, I'm Dutch, so I'm budget as a mofo, and for two, I like to try and save myself money um, anywhere that I can. Obviously, you guys know that we built that duckbill trunk. Check out that playlist if you guys haven't already. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is basically start the vented hood build. Now I've basically been looking at a couple of pictures online and I'm gonna do something a little bit custom as opposed to something, you know, an exact replica of a picture that I've seen online simply because I do have an idea in my head of the way I want it to look. And a lot of the hoods that you can buy online just don't fit that exact criteria for me. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get the hood out of the attic, set it up on a nice table that I can work on it with. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple of measurements and once I get you know, my line set up of where I wanna cut, I'm gonna show you guys that and um, show you guys what I'm gonna start cutting with, man. So with that being said, let's get it. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have my tape line pretty much roughed out and these one two three are going to be our vents so basically what i'm going to do is take a dremel cut this line here this line here and this line here and then basically fold that in just a little bit now the picture i was using for reference is this one right here and you can see they kind of angle out quite a bit matches more so this line right here oh come on now on that car but i'm gonna try to keep it more parallel with this center line here and then once i get those cut out they should be pretty much equal um so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the opposite side give you guys a little rundown and then I think we should be ready to start cutting here, man. Alrighty, so I've got the second side all finished. Took me a while to get them like exact on both sides, but I think that it is pretty close. So what I think I'm gonna do now is jump onto the Dremel. I got a couple of metal blades in here that I am gonna use just to get a nice thin cut. So I guess I'm gonna set the camera up here, uh, show you guys a little bit of the cutting process, but I don't know how long it's gonna take, so I might not film all of it. Alrighty, so I started out with the Dremel and it's just not cutting properly. I'm having trouble getting 
well for one through the metal and it's just all wavy and stuff like that so i'm pulling out the big guns now for making diffusers and stuff like that i have quite a bit of you know relatively good experience cutting with this thing so i'm gonna throw a blade on here hopefully i don't hack this hood up too much and uh we're gonna see if we can get through this man Alrighty, so that went much quicker and smoother. Ended up getting the cut nice and straight. Um, I am gonna go through the Dremel and get the corners a little bit easy, a uh, little bit closer when I get to that point. But I'm gonna go ahead, cut the rest of these, and get back to you guys once that's finished. Alrighty, so I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but we have our rough cuts made. Now, like I say, much easier to do with the cut off wheel this is like really uh thin and soft metal so i'll be able to shave this down nice uh went in with the dremel and got each corner all loosened up now the only thing i have to do is get this uh around so that i can cut off parts of the back uh which is going to be the mounting or support brackets whatever you want to call it so i think what i'm going to do is lift this thing up in the air and actually hang it so that I don't scratch this surface because I don't plan on painting the whole hood. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with that. But yeah, coming along pretty nice. It's hard to see that rough, uh, rough layout of where it's going to be for me anyways. You guys could probably see it pretty good. But I'm going to hang this thing from the ceiling, show you what I got to do from the back. Alrighty, so this is kind of going to suck. But as you can see, I have to basically cut out from here over to here, this section, in order to get this flap down from here, pretty well over to here, in order to get this flap down, and then up here, all the way down, in order to get that flap down. So, looks like we got quite a bit more cutting to do around the back here than we did on the front. So, I guess I'm just gonna dive right into it. Alrighty, so absolutely went to town. I was going to do individual little cutout sections, but I just decided to take out the whole back piece. As you can see, there was some glue that I had to kind of peel off. And um, yeah, what I want to do now is get this thing out of the garage, give it a nice wash down, get all these metal shavings off, and then we can bring it back in and start angling our vent. Alrighty, so I got this thing nice and washed. I just wanted to get all the little metal flakes off of here as much as I could just so when we go in here and we start bending, obviously we don't have any metal around. But now comes the fun part of actually bending in these louvers. Now my idea here is that I want to be able to sand by hand inside these cracks here. So I'm going to go for about a little bigger than this as far as depth goes. So I'm just going to go ahead now start bending these in alrighty so there is number one done I guess I'm just gonna continue on Alrighty, so there we have the vents pretty much opened up to where I can get this file through. Now I am still a little bit worried about clearance, so what I think I might end up doing is throwing this on the car right now real quick and just making sure that the hood will actually close properly before we start body working as much as I don't want to. 
I think it'll just be for the better, but damn, that is starting to come along nice. moment of truth here. It does look like it's going to be very close, but uh, I guess we'll never know unless we try. Woo! Nothing but net, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing but net. So I don't know if you guys can see, but the radiator cap is right there. The engine cover, which would, you know, be the highest point, is right there. We still have plenty of room. Literally, just touching, like, literally right here. So that's absolutely perfect right there. Come to the other side. Right here, it's actually resting on the engine cover, which kind of sucks because I do want to keep the engine cover on here. I think that's going to help with uh, keeping the water and stuff like that off of electronic parts. Right here, lots of room, lots of room. So it's really these back parts that are the only issue right here. So I might, I don't know if I want to trim that corner off because I do like the way that it looks just like that. But, ooh wee, she's coming together. Um, but I think I'm probably gonna put an end to this video right now I don't want this one to get too long and I feel like it's probably gonna be well over uh, 10 minutes as it is this hood, you know could use a little bit of a buff and polish once I'm done But I do have an idea just to clean it up a touch But I think we are coming along quite nicely Let me know what you guys think I should do here if I should trim this back piece straight across here just fiberglass it and maybe take the engine cover off uh, i'm not really too worried about it but maybe i'll make the back vent just a little bit smaller so that it doesn't touch there but oh damn that's looking fresh man so you guys let me know what you think so far if you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you are not subscribed yet um definitely do so man and as always, I'm your boy D Nally, aka Don Squally, and we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one, man.